Did you know there are certain foods you should avoid while breastfeeding? In this video, you will learn the top 9 foods and drinks you should avoid while breastfeeding. Breast milk is packed with nutrients your baby needs in the first few months to years of life. This is the reason why many moms choose to breastfeed their babies. The majority of breastfeeding mothers can eat whatever they want without affecting their infants. However, each baby is unique. Some report that their babies become irritable, sleepless, or gassy after eating a certain food. Before we proceed, please don't forget to hit like, click subscribe, and also hit the notification bell button to get notified once a new video comes out. Please know that the material in this video is provided solely for educational reasons and is not intended to be taken as medical advice. Let's get started. Highly processed foods. Breastfeeding moms should eat a well-balanced and varied diet. It's best to restrict your intake of highly processed foods because they are heavy in calories, added sugars and harmful fats, and they lack fiber, vitamins, and minerals. You probably already know excessive sugar intake is bad for you, but here is the reason why. According to Dr. Michael Gorin, founding director of the Childhood Obesity Research Center at the Keck School of Medicine, exposing infants and children to higher amounts of sugar during growth and development can produce problems with cognitive development and learning as well as create lifelong risk for obesity, diabetes, fatty liver disease, and heart disease. Also, it's possible that your diet while breastfeeding may influence your child's food preferences later in life. You certainly do not want your child to choose junk food over healthy foods when they grow up, do you? Caffeine Caffeine is commonly found in tea, soda, coffee, and chocolate. Some of the caffeine in them can end up in your breast milk. This can be a problem because caffeine is difficult to break down and eliminate in newborns. As a result, high levels of caffeine may accumulate in your baby's system over time, causing irritation and sleeping difficulties. Good news for coffee lovers who are having a hard time letting go of caffeine. Study shows breastfeeding moms can drink coffee as long as they limit themselves to 2 to 3 cups or no more than 300 milligrams of caffeine per day. In short, moderation is the key. Sugary drinks I know that breastfeeding can make you thirstier than usual. But, no matter how thirsty you are, avoid ordinary sodas or fruit drinks which are high in calories but low in nutrition. We already mentioned why too much sugar is not good for you and your baby. But did you know that a 12-ounce can of Coke contains 9.75 teaspoons of sugar, which equates to 39 grams of sugar? That's a lot and is definitely bad for you and your baby. The first few months of a baby's life are crucial for brain development, so it's worthwhile to make a change on your beverage choice for your child's sake, mom. Alcohol It is recommended not to drink alcohol when breastfeeding. But if you decide to have some wine or alcohol, make sure not to breastfeed for 3 hours after sipping your favorite wine or alcohol. Be cautious not to drink too much as excessive alcohol intake may affect a mother's judgment and capacity to safely care for her child. Also, nursing after one to two drinks, even beer, can reduce the newborn's milk intake by 20 to 23 percent, 
causing restlessness and poor sleep patterns in the infant. Watch out, moms! I know you don't want a restless infant, do you? Fish high in mercury Fish are high in omega-3 fatty acids that are essential for newborn brain development. But did you know there are fish that are high in mercury? High in mercury fish is not good for your babies. Some infants are sensitive to mercury poisoning. According to www.foodauthority.nsw.gov.au, some fish may contain mercury levels that can harm a baby's developing nervous system if too much mercury is passed to them through breast milk. To avoid high mercury fishes like king mackerel, big eye tuna, marlin, orange ruffy, swordfish, shark, and tilefish. Breastfeeding moms are advised to eat 8 to 12 ounces or 225 to 340 grams of low mercury fish once a week. Citrus fruits, lime, oranges, Lemons, tangerines, and grapefruit are common fruits to avoid. Citrus fruits contain a lot of acidic substances which might cause GI or gastrointestinal tract irritation in kids. If your child is vomiting or has severe diarrhea, please call your pediatrician right away. Citrus fruits might give your breast milk a sour taste on occasion. Some babies may have a negative reaction to the taste and become fuzzy when consuming it. It's possible that other infants will vomit. As a result of the citrus content in your breast milk, your kid may experience diaper rashes at times. Gassy food Certain foods can cause your infant to be colicky and gassy. You can still take these if you want to, but make sure not to consume too much of them. Some vegetables including cauliflower, broccoli, asparagus, cabbage, Brussels sprouts, starchy foods such as potatoes, corn, rice and pasta, and fruits such as dates, dried fruits, Apples and figs are some of the most prevalent. Consume them early in the morning or late in the afternoon when the infant is active. Eating gassy meals before bedtime may result in a fuzzy baby. Spicy foods Some spicy foods such as jalapenos and chili might cause bloating and gas in your baby. Others can alter the flavor of your milk, which a newborn may not appreciate. Onions, cinnamon, and curry should all be avoided. Each newborn is unique. Some mothers may notice that if they eat a certain food, newborns become gassy or irritable, but other babies do not. Some moms report that their babies dislike the taste of their breast milk after they eat spicy foods. Other babies, on the other hand, might not mind if mom ate a load of spicy chili peppers. Allergy Triggering Foods You should avoid tree nuts and nut-containing goods during breastfeeding if you have a history of food allergies. If this is not the case, you can eat nuts while keeping an eye on the baby for any reactions. Also, your child may be allergic to a protein found in cow's milk and soybean, so be cautious before taking these allergy-triggering foods. It's best to consult your pediatrician if your baby is having some reactions such as vomiting, bloody stools, eczema, diarrhea, constipation, hives, wheezing, abnormal fuzziness, congestion, and excessive gas. How about you? What are the foods you discovered that affect your milk or your baby while breastfeeding? Please tell us in the comment section below. Please don't forget to share this video with your friends and family. Thanks for watching.